Hi there. I'm excited to show you this demo today. It's really, really cool, I think. So let's dive in. So I have a table of student data. You know, some scores and attendance and a comment. Uh, notice that it's in a nice table format. So I do encourage you to use these new tables. I love them. And what we want to do is imagine that we're the teacher. We've got uh, 10 students here, but let's pretend we have maybe 30 students or even more. And we need to give all this feedback to the parents of how these kids did this year at school. Now that's a pretty tedious task if you go through one by one. Uh, but thankfully now we have these AI tools and it's amazing how much time they can save. So what we're going to do is pop a column to the right that we are going to call the uh, draft email. Okay, so let's now say equals AI. And this is a new formula that prompts Gemini to perform an action. And it's in a sort of early release phase. So you may not see this yet in your sheet, but don't worry. I'm going to show you an alternative for now, a sort of placeholder. But if you do have this function, then by all means, you start using it. It's really useful. So I'm going to copy in a prompt here. So the prompt is write a professional email to the parent or guardian of the student, summarizing their academic performance and classroom behavior. Written by me, Ben Collins, their teacher. Start with a subject line that's formatted exactly as subject name of the student's progress report, e.g. John Smith's progress report. Warm, supportive, informative, etc., etc. So there's our prompt. Now that's a nice prompt that's uh, detailed, has some specific instructions around what, how we want the email to format and things, kind of like a prompt you would give to an actual AI tool. So then we'll say comma, and then I'm going to actually give it all of this information to, to use. So there's a name, there's some scores, some dates, etc. Okay, so we'll close that off. So AI is the formula. There's the prompt I've given it, and there's the data I want it to use. We'll hit enter and generate and insert. And boom, look at that. It just generates me a really nice, let's wrap text there so we can see it, a really nice email that I could send then to the parents of Alice Johnson. So we'll, we can just then copy this down and you can see instantly how this, how much time this, this potentially can save you. So we'll copy them all down and hit generate and insert. And you can see there it's filled in all of those or generated all of those nice draft emails for us, which is fantastic. Now then, if you don't have access to this AI tool, let me show you how we can use regular formulas, regular formulas to at least create a placeholder for a draft email that we can then still continue with the rest of the automation. So let's go back to just having this um, empty table like this that we had before. And we're going to write a formula over here. So we'll say equals, and we want to do subject and Alice Johnson and progress report. So this is called concatenation. We're just building strings. We're building text strings and we have a variable in the middle, which is based on this column here. So we'll hit enter and uh, we won't fill it yet, but you can see there we've built a, a sort of a deterministic version of the AI tool. So we'll add a little bit more detail and then I'll leave. So we'll say char 10. That puts in a new, starts a new line. We'll do another new line because we'll have a We'll have a gap, so we'll do char 10 again and ampersand. Then we'll do, uh, we'll say midterm score and space ampersand 88 and then hit enter. So subject as children's progress report, midterm score 88. So we, you can see how we just build it up by adding in the details. So if I just copy the rest in for now, we'll add in the final score and some more spaces and then the teacher comment and then my name. 
So there we are. That's uh, a very sort of slimmed down version that is purely deterministic. It just says, grab the name, add it here, grab the score, add it here, grab the score, add it there. Whereas the AI was a approach that said, here's all this data, go and write a nice email using the AI tool. So a little bit different, it gives a much more fully flavored email here that we could actually send. Whereas this one is just the basics, but you could build this out. We could add a bit more. We could add some more of these, but I'm just keeping it short for now. And then we would copy that down. So hopefully now you can get to either of these two points. You either have the AI prompt, you can get these really nice AI emails, or we have this um, simpler version where it just at least gets the data into a sort of a vague email format for me. Uh, and now what we want to do is essentially say, okay, I have all these draft emails. I want to move them from the sheet here into my draft folder so I can just then start sending them. And I want to automate that. I don't want to have to, you know, copy this, go into here, go compose. That will take a long time. So we don't want to do that, delete that. We want to automate this step. And what we can do is actually use now extensions, oops, extensions, app script. So this is like the coding language that extends um, sheets and workspace. We can do extra things with it. It makes it a tiny bit smaller. Uh, so we'll call this draft email. If I can spell draft emails, uh, we'll get rid of that. So we just have a blank, blank one now. Okay, so we've got one code, yes, it's blank. We've got to call it draft emails. Now we are going to go to Gemini and ask Gemini to write us a script that will convert, send this here into the draft folder of my Gmail. Okay, so we'll come over to Gemini. I'm going to copy in the prompt so you don't have to watch me typing out for the next 10 minutes. Okay, so let's just make this full screen. Okay, so I have a list of draft emails in column G of my sheet. So I'm very specifically saying that draft emails in column G, uh, row two. I want you to create an app script that will take the content of column G and create a draft email in my Gmail for rows where column H is blank. So column H is blank. So what we're gonna do is actually create that column now and we'll call it draft created timestamp. And what we're going to do essentially is when we create this draft email, we move this into Gmail, I'm going to put a timestamp here to say it's done. And that way the program knows that that draft has been done. It won't recreate it. Within each cell, column G is a subject line, which should be the subject line of the draft email. Remove the word subject. So basically that's saying, look, I got the AI tool to say, generate at the top of each one, a subject line for the progress report. So we're going to remove that and move that into the subject line of the email. When the draft has been created, the script should put a timestamp in column H on that row to indicate that row has been processed. Don't create draft emails for any rows where the column H already has a timestamp. Add a custom menu so it can be run from the sheet, which is nice. And then a few app script specific things here, just minimize the number of calls we make to these services to keep the performance high. Now at this level where we're working with 10 rows of data or 100 rows of data, it's not gonna make a blind bit of difference, really. It's not gonna be noticeable, but it's still a good practice to get in the habit of. So batch our calls and then keep the code concise. We don't wanna, sometimes these uh, programs can give quite, advanced, uh, quite verbose answers. Also, I'm choosing this 2.5 Pro. This is the brand new one that's really, really good now at coding. So make sure you selected that 2.5 Pro preview on Gemini, which should be available. So we'll click and let it do its thing. It's thinking and doing some stuff. Uh, and just in a matter of a handful of seconds, it's writing this program for me, uh, which is remarkable when you think about it. Absolutely remarkable. So looks like it's finished all the code. It's now just doing some explanation for us, which we could read if we wished. Um, but we'll grab this code, copy it, come back into here, paste the code. So that was 70 lines of code it wrote for us. We'll save. Make sure we select on open and we'll hit run and we'll just give it a shot. First time I have to run the program, I have to review the permissions just to make sure. So I'll say yes, uh, I'm okay with it 
looking at my Gmail, I'm okay with it looking in the spreadsheets it's installed in. So that's fine, I've written it, uh, or I used AI to write it, I'm trusting the AI at this stage. So great, so that's been executed. Now I can go back to my spreadsheets. And remember, what we're trying to do is move all of these 10 draft emails into here. Blank at the moment, so let's now go email drafts, create drafts, and just hang about here for a sec. Okay, 10 draft emails created and timestamps added. There they are, there's the timestamps. And we'll actually change this column type and give it an actual date timestamp and it'll show the full timestamp for me. Go back to my draft, refresh, and look at that. All these different progress reports written, ready to send um, to the parents, which is pretty uh, amazing when you think about it, how much time that could save you. Of course, you need to check them, but uh, really, now that's created, very, very fast to, to, to do that. So let me show you just quickly what it would look like with this one. Uh, this, uh, this is the date. Um, so we'll delete these 10, discard them all, and just try running it with this bunch. Create the drafts. Let's see if it works just on this page. Okay. And there we go, there's all 10 again. And this time, of course, the email itself was a lot shorter because it was the formula generated one, not the AI generated one. Okay, great. So that's the automation I wanted to show you. And I hope you found it useful. Gave you some ideas about how we can use the AI formula and how we can use the newer Gemini models, which are really good at coding, to write some app script and build a useful little uh, feedback tool that's much, much quicker than trying to do all of that uh, manually by hand, one by one. So thanks for watching, folks. See you again soon in another video. Bye for now.